The L80s are a new product from Zildjian that they claim have the sound and feel of regular cymbals, but are up to 80% quieter than regular cymbals. If what Zildjian claims is true, this product has the potential to positively change the fundamental construction of the teaching studio. What are they really? Well, they're cymbals with a bunch of holes in them. And Zildjian claims that the holes are actually what make them so quiet. My initial assumption was maybe that the mass of the cymbal is much less because of the missing brass from the holes and that's what makes them quieter, but they claim that the hole pattern actually has more to do with it. I will take them at their word on that because I have not done any of the science on that. They are very similar to the Gen 16 line, which is a very similar looking cymbal with a different finish that has an electronic pickup underneath that runs to a proprietary Zildjian symbol controlling brain where you can change the tones that come off of the symbol. The material that the L80s are made from is not the high-end symbol brass that they make their higher-end lines out of, nor the bronze that they make the ZBT, ZXT, and the like lines out of. It's somewhere in the middle. There are currently three different configurations of box sets available for the L80s a 13-inch set of hi-hats and an 18-inch cymbal, a 13-inch set of hi-hats, a 14-inch cymbal, and an 18-inch cymbal, and a 14-inch set of hi-hats, a 16-inch cymbal, and an 18-inch cymbal. Now let's give them a listen. We'll start with some general playing on the kit and then move on to listening and comparing individually. The set I received from Zildjian was the 14-inch, 16-inch, 18-inch configuration. For a comparison set, I'm using a set of 14-inch A Zildjian New Beat Hi-Hats, a 16-inch A Zildjian Medium Thin Crash, and a 20-inch A Zildjian Medium Ride. As a control, I played the live cymbals with an unmuffled kit. From there, I used muffled cymbals and the L80s on both a live kit and a muffled kit. You can plainly tell that the LEDs deliver a significant reduction in volume. Now let's take a look at them individually with the decibel meter and see how they stack up.
Before we check out the results, I must tell you that there are many reasons why my data doesn't exactly hold up to scientific rigor. First, my decibel meter comes from a free downloadable app. When the noise gets louder, the needle goes up, but I have no indication of how accurate an instrument the app is, nor do I specifically know how audio is processed as it comes into a fourth generation iPad. And that's the microphone that was being used. Second, that microphone was placed nearby, not a specifically measured distance. I tried to make it about the distance from a person and a symbol would usually be, but again, I didn't measure. Third, my basement is not acoustically designed. It's an odd shape and it's full of stuff and that makes it really good for sound diffusion, but soundproof, true acoustic setup, no. Fourth, I have no idea how hard I was hitting. You know, from a measurable point of view, I think I was doing about the same, but that's as close as I can come. All of that being said, what my experiment does show is how this particular setup, which can detect differences in sound pressure levels, heard the items tested. Both the live and muffled cymbals came in around 90 decibels. This surprised me at first, but then I realized that even muffled, when you hit one of those cymbals, you're getting a major attack sound off of it. That sound on a muffled cymbal drops off instantly, uh, whereas on a live cymbal it's going to be sustained and stay loud longer. So you don't notice it as being as loud, because you only get that quick thwack. The L80s came in about 10 decibels lower at 80. Some of you might be looking at me thinking, well that's not a big difference, a little over 10% or so between the two. This is actually a huge difference in decibels. Sound is volumetric, and by that I mean that it expands in space. I'm not talking about the actual volume level. Um, and thus, the closer you get to that sound source, the louder it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound intensely louder to you because you're hearing more of that total volume. There's a lot of physics and math behind this that I would be bad at explaining, but a 10 decibel difference like the one we are seeing here represents a 50% cut in perceived volume. If I have this wrong, please feel free to tear me apart in the comments. I probably only know enough about this to really be dangerous, so if you know your stuff, let me know so we can correct it. Anyway, a difference of 50% is huge, and if I'm getting that in my extremely flawed setup, then I'm inclined to believe that Zildjian is getting there up to 80% numbers legitimately. I have very few issues with the L80s. I think they're a really good and interesting product, and I think no matter what I say at this point, they've already really changed the game. Things I would like to see from them, though. I would like to see a 20-inch symbol option. The 18 is nice, and I understand that this is a new product, and so they want to maximize how it can be used. Uh, it's easier to imagine an 18-inch as a ride symbol than it is to imagine a 20 as an extra crash. So this really serves a dual purpose right now. But what I would really like to see is that 20, to have that full-on ride symbol size symbol in an L80. Uh, it would really help in the long run with students and understanding symbol size and how they feel and things like that. Um, another thing is that the uh, the bell doesn't have a different enough sound. You go to hit the bell and it does have a different sound and I've got a feeling that when I'm done it's probably going to sound more pronounced on this video because I'm using decent microphones. Uh, but when you're in the room with them, the bell is just not pingy enough. It sounds too much like the, the other parts of the cymbal. And again, for teaching students to play bell patterns and things like that, it's really important for that to stand out. So I would really like to see that in the L80s. The other issue is one that I'm not sure that can be fixed. And so I must say that if it comes down to either using the L80s or using a muffled cymbal, I would definitely use the L80s. But because they are not quite as heavy, they move a little different. Not a lot, just enough to notice I doubt students are really going to notice a difference. It's the thing that you feel after you've been playing for a really long time. Um, they just don't move quite the same. I particularly notice it when I'm doing the aforementioned alternating bell patterns. The symbol doesn't seem to show up where I need it to at times. Uh, and when I'm digging into a closed hi-hat, it just doesn't give back enough. It tends to let me dig in more than I want. These are things that if the symbol had a heavier mass, 
would definitely be more normal. But the symbols don't have a heavier mass because they're, well, full of holes, right? So I don't know if that's something that can be fixed, but it's something that exists. That being said, I think these are really amazing products. Uh, I think Zildjian has really done a lot for teaching and education by releasing this product. I know that there are some of you that are very lucky and you teach in home studios that have unmuffled kits and unmuffled cymbals and it's a really ideal learning situation. But most of the teachers I know are in similar ones to me where I teach at a studio with other instruments that don't have perfectly soundproofed walls and I have to teach on a muffled kit with muffled cymbals. Having these which actually produce less sound than a muffled cymbal and a more cymbal-like sound than a muffled cymbal makes everything so much better. And it's a really amazing product. I really think if you're a teacher with those issues that you owe it to yourself to go and pick up a set of these because they are really awesome. Oh, here's one for you I didn't even think about. Uh, on the box, they mentioned that you could use them for quiet gigs, which is not something I ever thought I would actually use them for. But a couple of weeks ago, I got hired to do uh, a gig with uh, a middle school choir, which is an odd one, I know, but it was their Pops concert, and so they hired a, a guitar player and a drummer to play along with the pop songs that they were performing. And in the rehearsals, I was using regular live cymbals, and I was just having trouble getting the right feel playing quiet enough. You know, we're talking hard-hitting pop songs, and I'm trying to play really light so that I'm not burying them. Well, bring out the L80s, and it was perfect. I wish I would have gotten some pictures or some video to show you guys, but I didn't. But yeah, so they actually do really work really well for quiet gigs, so uh, score another one for Zildjian on that. So yeah, these are really cool symbols. Let us know what you think about them. Drop a comment below, either on the website, musiciansnotepad.com, or here on our YouTube channel, which you should probably subscribe to. Um, send us a tweet, at Musicians Notes, or you can leave it on our Facebook wall, uh, facebook.com slash musiciansnotepad. Remember, there's new content on the site every Wednesday, and yeah, we're just really happy to uh, have brought these to you. These are a really interesting and amazing product. So, let's hit it. But the biggest proof, I think, is this. I'm going to take this symbol and drop it. If you ever dropped a symbol, you know how loud it gets. That's as loud as that symbol gets.